I found fake Prismacolor pencils. This was supposed to be a video about a suspiciously similar brand that is using the Prismacolor name to confuse buyers into buying their overpriced pencils. But as I started to dig a little deeper, this story got a lot more complicated and a lot more interesting than I first expected. So where do we begin? There have been a bunch of videos on YouTube from creators who have talked about how to spot fake Prismacolor pencils. Over the past few months, I've watched all of those videos in the search for answers. And after watching those videos, reading the comments, searching Facebook group conversations and reading endless Amazon reviews, I felt more confused than ever. Because while there seems to be a lot of concern over fake Prismacolor pencils being sold and a lot of concerned buyers worrying they might end up with a fake set, the actual evidence that these fake sets exist is hard to find. Over the past few years, there has been an increasing concern of fake and counterfeit products being sold on websites like AliExpress, eBay, and even Amazon. And there's one brand that I've seen mentioned over and over in the coloring and art groups that I'm in with claims and reviews from people who think that they've been scammed into buying fakes or who are just scared of being tricked. So why is it that everyone is so concerned about fake Prismacolors, but not fake Holbeins or fake Derwents or fake Faber-Castells. Why is Prismacolor the only pencil that is apparently the target of all these scams? So whether or not this issue actually exists, the fear is real and we need answers. So I've spent the last few months finding answers to these questions and I have uncovered more than I expected. I started in the same place that many concerned YouTubers start. I bought a set of Prismacolor pencils from a third party seller on Amazon at a heavily discounted price. Like many of the sellers on Amazon, there were plenty of concerned reviews that these Prismacolor pencils were fakes. So let's take a look for ourselves. So this box looks genuine, although this is a completely different design to the last Prismacolor box that I have bought. But the first thing I notice about these pencils is that all of the writing doesn't line up when the pencils are sitting beside each other. Some of the printing is in black and some is in silver. And the print quality itself is pretty average. Some of these are unreadable or they're just rubbing off. Let's look at these cores. There are a lot of cores off center in this set. Are they the same size? It's actually kind of hard to tell. A few of the cores look like they're already broken too. This pencil is a completely different surface, like something went wrong with the outer coating of paint. That's a bit weird. And some of these have splits down the side, but do they feel like Prismacolors? This blue is really scratchy and doesn't feel like a Prismacolor at all. Okay, I'm sorry, I am totally messing with you. These are real Prismacolor pencils. The electric blue is the only color in any set of Prismacolors that does feel a little bit rubbish and it's like this in every set, but the rest are wonderful. It's not uncommon for Prismacolor pencils to come with broken or off-center cores, splits in the wood and poor printing. And I think this is why so many people find themselves in a panic when they buy these pencils, thinking they have ended up with a fake set. Especially when so many artists rave about these pencils being some of the best, because despite all these flaws and the disappointing quality control, these are still amazing pencils and they're some of my favorites. Prismacolor Premier have always been some of my favorite pencils for art and adult coloring pages. They have a buttery soft core that makes them easy to blend and they feel great to use. The colors are vibrant and work on any type of paper without losing opacity. They are even bright on black paper and the white pencil is one of the best available. These pencils aren't the best pencils out there, but any pencils that I personally would rate higher come with a much higher price tag too. So this is the point where most videos on this topic end. We've talked about Prismacolor fakes, we've shown some reviews, we've tested our set and yay, we didn't end up with fakes, but surely there's more to the story. So why do you think so many people are worried about buying fake Prismacolors? There's been a lot of kind of levered up controversy online and it's a great video. I got fake Prismacolors and I think people see that and then they get worried and then they second guess their judgment. Um, and also I think part of wanting to be a part of this, the same experience that 
a YouTuber they're watching is going through. I, I think that's part of it. I think it just started as a grapevine type effect where it started out as one person thinking that they got fake Prisma colors, leaving all these reviews on Amazon. And so other people see it and it sort of just creates an effect where everybody starts to get worried that there's maybe fake as well. And it's just, it's all over social media, all over the place. And just think that because so many people see it, it goes from one person to the next person to the next person and it's just sort of started this domino effect. And I've never had anybody message me or email me with a prisma colour saying this is fake, is this fake? It's always been that sort of concern from people that I get messages saying how do I know that I'm not buying a fake? I've heard that there are so many fakes around, where do I go to buy them to get them the genuine ones? So I don't know whether it's just like this hype that's happening, um, you know, that people are just concerned that there are fakes out there, but there's no actual proof of it. And it would be quite difficult, I think, to fake a Prismacolor because there's nothing, there's no other pencil that feels the same to lay down. It would be far easier to um, counterfeit or fake an oil pencil. I have never seen or heard of anybody getting an actual fake set. I've seen lots of posts on social media where people are worried that there's maybe fake, but I've never actually seen an actual fake set aside from a couple YouTube videos or even actually just one YouTube video that I've seen. Well, I have never come across a set of fake Prismacolor pencils. I have come across ones that have split and chipped and broken where there was quality control issues, especially when, like, in, I would say late 90s when um, they first moved their factories. Prismacolor has gone through a huge transition and now that they're manufacturing in Mexico, it seems to me that people don't trust the brand anymore. There's also quality issues, and so you put all that together and it makes Prismacolor a perfect target for conspiracy, which is what I think is going on here. And also because the pencil has been so hyped up and so popular over the years, and the quality has gone down over the last um, 20 years or so, People are expecting a lot when they pick up a Prismacolor, and when it doesn't deliver, they're really disappointed and probably a little bit more disappointed than if they just picked up a generic pencil and started using it. So the big question I found myself asking when researching for this video is, are there actually counterfeit Prismacolors out there? I watched every video I could find and read every article and review, and I found very few examples that I would consider to be a legitimate concern for buyers who are trying to avoid buying fake pencils on Amazon. I even reached out to Prismacolor a few times and eventually managed to get in touch with their branding team who said that they didn't really have a significant issue with counterfeit products, but that concerned buyers can reach out to their care team if there's ever a question about the authenticity of a set of pencils. So is there any evidence that counterfeit Prismacolors actually exist? The ones to the left are fake and the ones to the right are real. They are in the same color order on both sides by name and number. As you can see, they are very different. I cannot in good faith ever recommend this product to anyone nor again spend money on this I think these are legit order. fakes. Le legit fakes. Yep, yeah, okay, I heard it. So I decided to reach out to Greg and he very kindly offered to send me this set of counterfeit pencils so we could take a closer look in this video, along with some yummy American sweets, which have already gone. And here they are with some extra decoration from Greg in a moment of understandable frustration. So this could be a real Prismacolor case, but that doesn't necessarily mean they are real Prismacolor pencils. At a first glance, these do look real. They are very convincing. And I know a lot of people have videos explaining what to look for in fakes and what to look for to know that your pencils are real. The problem is that as counterfeiters get better at different products, that isn't necessarily applicable anymore. So one example is that I've heard in the past to look out for the Mexico stamp to prove that your pencils are real. Well, these fakes have the Mexico stamp. So the only thing to me that jumps out as an obvious fake without comparing these against the original Prismacolors is that they seem to have a white undercoat on the actual barrel color, which I know the original Prismacolors don't have. But let's take a look against a real Prismacolor. So I've just grabbed a random pencil, random being teal, my favorite color. <laughs> so not quite so random. But comparing the real pencil to the fake pencil, 
they are both very similar. I think the font is very slightly different, but if you didn't have them side by side, you wouldn't know. It's interesting that the colors of these pencils are also slightly different and the cores, the cores on the fake set are smaller and ironically, they're all better scented than the real prism colors. <laughs> but the biggest difference and probably the best way to identify a fake is by the actual performance of the pencils. Prismacolors are known for their amazing soft core and buttery feel, and these fakes do not have that soft, buttery feel. Not only do some of these colors not match the original Prismacolor colors, but they just don't work the same way. They take a lot more pressure, they're not putting down the same pigment, and they're just not as nice to use. These feel more comparable to maybe something like a Crayola, but without the consistency between pencils. Some pencils feel completely different to each other. I've just grabbed 30 different colors to test, and it's amazing how many of these they have accurately matched to the Prisma colors, but there are a few that are pretty different here. But without having an original set of Prisma colors to compare the colors, I think the best way to identify these as fakes is just by that feel. They don't have a buttery soft feel at all and that to me is the most obvious thing that these are counterfeit pencils buying them there wasn't really any red flags to me i didn't see like review wise i didn't see any problems everything was on sale on amazon at that point like there were sales on everything so the price didn't really catch me off guard when they came packaged i didn't see anything wrong with the tin or anything there was really no issues that i picked up on until i started having problems with them like sharpening them but that was a uh prisma colors have problems being sharpened with certain sharpeners and whatnot so i just thought it was a me thing i was having issues with them and it finally got to the point where uh, okay i'm just gonna email um prisma color and they immediately offered to send me a new set this was like six or so months after i had bought them a couple days later i have a new set good customer experience with them and immediately in using them, I felt the difference and I noticed the barrel colors were off. I grabbed the old swatch sheets, the pigments were off, and then I looked at the cores. The diameter of the cores was also smaller. And it's at that point, I did email Prisma, letting them know, hey, I have a counterfeit set here. Like I have a fake set of your pencils and heard nothing. Yeah, so I contacted uh, Amazon at this point and the seller wasn't even on their storefront anymore. That went on for a little bit. I think it was like a good month and a half to two months before I got anything out of them. But Prismacolor service was great and I'll always give that to them. Their customer service is amazing. So I'll be honest, I was hoping for a few more answers from Prismacolor when I was making this video, especially since they knew a lot of what I was planning to show you. And they knew that I had these pencils in my hands. Their main advice was to contact their care team if there was any concerns about counterfeit pencils. There's still more to this story. And the most interesting part is still to come. But on my own personal opinion, I think counterfeit pencils like this are not as common as many of us have been led to believe as consumers. If you're buying your pencils from a craft shop or a reputable website, then you shouldn't have any troubles. And if you are buying from Amazon, you can reach out to Amazon for a replacement set if you somehow end up getting scammed by a dishonest third party seller. Although in the colored pencil world, I still don't think even this is as common as we all worry that it is. But this right now is where this video is about to get even more interesting. To fully uncover the next part of this story, I need to give you a super quick history lesson on the Prismacolor brand. The Prismacolor pencils were first launched in 1938 by the Eagle Pencil Company. In 1969, the Eagle Pencil Company was bought by Beryl and the Eagle Prismacolor pencils became Beryl Prismacolor pencils. Sanford Court was established in 1857 as one of the world's leading manufacturers and suppliers of pencils and was acquired by Newell Rubbermaid in 1992. In 1995, Prismacolor was purchased by the Newell Company and is placed under the Sanford division. From what I've been able to find online, Beryl were not able to sell Prismacolor pencils in the UK because I think someone already had the rights to that 
name. So they produced the Charisma Color Pencils. Now the Charisma Color Pencils look completely different to the Prisma Color Pencils, but the colors and numbers were the same. The Charisma Color Pencils were discontinued in 2005. And the manufacturing of the Prisma Color Pencils was moved to Mexico in 2010. Many artists agree that the quality of the Prisma Color Pencils has dropped since the manufacturing moved to Mexico. So the discontinued sets of Charisma Color and Vintage Prisma Color Pencils by Beryl, Eagle, and Sanford are becoming more and more valuable online as people try to get their hands on these sets both for collector value, but also to enjoy as actual pencils instead of the modern Prismacolors. And I have some right here. It's all about the build quality, really, because the Charismacolors, the original Charismas, actually feel almost exactly the same to lay down on the paper. So you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference. I think maybe if you're more of a connoisseur, you might be able to tell there's a slight difference in quality, but they feel exactly the same to me. The Charisma colours, I'm not sure what wood they are made with, but it's they feel more sturdy. They, they look like they've been created with a design aesthetic rather than milled out of a machine, you know? Yeah. Because they've got the shampoo and you can see that I don't think I've ever seen that on another pencil and the thickness of the cores as well it feels like they're a lot stronger they sharpen a lot better they hardly ever break I started using them when I was five and um, they definitely are different than the prism colors are today they were a thicker barrel and a thicker lead and I suppose if that's what you had for prism colors and then all of a sudden you bought some today you would definitely think something was up because they're they're different the leads are similar they're both that soft lead but without that thicker wood they just tend to break a little easier and I think that um, when that happens to people, they don't see that breakage online when they watch tutorials. They think they've got a fake. These vintage pencils are nice. The performance is the same as the current Prismacolor pencils. They are buttery and smooth to use, but they are definitely stronger, which is what I've heard from other people who've used these too. But from what I've heard, these don't break nearly as much as the new Prismacolor pencils or have the same splitting or off-center core issues. You're probably wondering why we've shifted from talking about fake pencils to talking about vintage pencils. While I grab a coffee and you give this video a like, let me show you what I've uncovered. I started planning this entire video when I came across a Facebook group conversation six months ago. Someone posted their find of some Charisma Color pencils and everyone was excited because as we've just discussed, vintage Prisma Color or Charisma Color pencils are rare, expensive and hard to find. But these weren't the vintage Charisma Colors. As it turns out, these weren't rare either. So I've done some digging and here's the thing with these pencils. They are advertised as Charisma Color pencils and are owned by the company Sanford, but they are not made by the same factory as Prisma Color. They're made in Japan. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of information about these pencils available online, and the only place I seem to be able to find them is on eBay, which is where most people would be looking to find the Sanford or Charisma Color vintage pencils. Now, here's the next interesting point. If these pencils were comparable to any other set of mid-range pencils, I'd expect them to be priced anywhere between 40 cents to even as high as $2 per pencil. For example, a set of Prisma Colors end up being around 50 cents to $1.20 US per pencil. But these Charisma Color pencils are being sold on eBay for $2 to $3.87 USD per pencil. For comparison, that's similar and in some cases slightly more expensive than a set of Caran d'Ache Luminance. So why are they double the price of Prisma Color? Is it maybe? So they are more easily comparable to the price of the vintage pencil ranges. Are they trying to confuse customers into thinking that these are vintage pencils from Beryl? In fact, are they even allowed to use the Charisma color or Sanford name? In my search for answers, I found that these pencils were definitely causing confusion. Comments from customers and in Facebook groups referred to these as the Japanese Prisma colors, or they just thought that these were the vintage sets. To make matters worse, Worse, many of the eBay listings were using the name Prismacolor in their descriptions or in their titles to sell the Japanese Charismacolor pencils, or in some cases were even using the Prismacolor images. I tried contacting the company that makes these pencils, but that was a dead end. 
I also reached out to Prismacolor support via their website a few months ago, asking if they'd heard about these Japanese pencils, but I never heard back. So instead, I reached out to each of the eBay sellers who were selling these to ask them a simple question. Are these the same as Prismacolor pencils? Are the responses? were mixed. Yes, it's the same item. Charisma Color is the new name for Prism Color. Since the name of this item was changed from Beryl to Sanford, the product name was changed from Prism Color to Charisma Color, but the quality of the colored pencils seems to be the same. According to internet information, they are almost same. Karasuma Color is product name in Japan. Prism Color is product name in overseas. Prism Colors are also produced in other countries, some of which are not good quality. However, Japanese Prism Colors that is Karasuma colors are of good quality. The Charisma colors was previously sold under the Prisma color brand, but is now renamed to Charisma color in Japan. It seems that the cores of these pencils are the same, but the wooden parts of the pencils are different. Seems the production of that part is done in Japan, so they seem to be a little different in usability. Yes, it is Prisma. Sorry for the wrong title. I have just fixed it. There were only two sellers who replied to tell me that the sets were different. So I bought my own set to find out for sure. Interestingly, these have a white undercoat. So they clearly use the same numbering system as Prismacolor. I'm actually a little bit confused. These actually match the colors pretty well. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong about these. <laughs> Maybe they are Prismacolors. <laughs> The branding on these is so similar to Prismacolors, but not the current Prismacolor. They look more like the Sanford Prismacolor design. The numbers and color names are identical and they look pretty similar overall, except maybe a little more consistent and actually less damaged than Prismacolors current quality standards. But the real test is how these perform. And honestly, I'm really surprised. I went into this expecting to show how different these were to Prismacolor and instead I'm confused. These are almost an exact replica of a Prismacolor pencil. The colors are a perfect match and the performance, which I've never seen any other pencil come close to, it's, it's basically the same, but even stranger. In the very, very little testing I've done. So like we're talking just a few swatches, nothing solid for a true comparison here, but it's almost a better match for the Sanford Prismacolor than for the new Prismacolors. So marketing these and pricing these alongside the vintage Prismacolors. I mean, is this accurate? I'm genuinely confused here and I might need to rethink the rest of this video. With this new information, it's time to head back to my research lab, Google. I'm, I'm heading back to Google. So my biggest question right now, how is this new brand even allowed to sell these pencils under the Sanford and Charisma color name? Are these actually Japanese Prisma colors? Were all these eBay sellers correct in saying that these are the same pencils and that the name was changing back to Charisma color? When I finally got in touch with Prisma colors branding team in the past few weeks, I had a lot of questions and that's before this discovery that we've just made. And their response makes this even crazier because Prismacolor still owns the Charismacolor brand, but have licensed that name to a third party for use in Japan. I have so many more questions at this point and I sent those questions to Prismacolor, but they didn't offer any more information about these Japanese pencils. I thought that a third party was taking advantage of a brand that I loved and that these sellers were confusing and misleading customers with the Prismacolor name I never would have expected that Prismacolor would have willingly given permission for another brand to use their name like this, even for a discontinued product. And now I'm wondering if Japan has taken this a step further and have successfully recreated the original Prismacolors that so many artists have grown to love and have missed since the quality has dropped. I just, I just don't get it. If Prismacolor are licensing their name to a third party, but are otherwise not involved in the manufacturing of these pencils, then why are they so similar to Prismacolor? And if they aren't the same, why are Prismacolor allowing another company to use their name and copy their product? 
Won't this eventually damage the Prismacolor brand? Why is there all this secrecy and confusion? Why is there all this misinformation? I thought I'd done all the research I could possibly do for this video. And here I am trying to find a way to tie this all together into a useful conclusion with so much still left unanswered. So I guess we'll just have to see where this story takes us. But when it comes to buying pencils in general, I do think the hype and the fear about counterfeit pencils is exaggerated. Even though I've managed to find a set myself, this is the only set I was able to find out of the many videos I watched and the people that I contacted online. If you buy from reputable websites and avoid third-party sellers, you don't have to panic about accidentally ending up with a counterfeit set of pencils. And worst case scenario, if you do think you've been duped, you can reach out to Prismacolor's customer care team for support. If you found this interesting or helpful, please share it around and leave a comment below. I know this leaves me with even more questions at this point, but I still love my Prismacolor pencils. I do wish they would pay more attention to their quality control. And now I'm wondering if this Japanese version or dupe or whatever it is, might be an answer to that. Although the price point is still a deal breaker for me. For now, I still consider Prismacolor to be one of my favorites. Although I do think I need to write to them about this particular new set that I've got because I seem to be getting a lot more breakage than I did on my past set. But I'll be watching this space and I would love to hear your own thoughts on all of this in the comments.